Now, Kahanism remains strong in pockets of Israel some 29 years since Rabbi Meir Kahana's assassination in 1990 by a jihadist in his native New York. The latest reincarnation of his outlawed party, Kach, goes by the name of Otzma Yehudit, or Jewish Power. 25 years since the anniversary of that Hebron mosque massacre, outrage is now pouring in from Jewish communities the world over after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu entered into an electoral pact with the Kahanist Jewish Power Party, as well as far-right nationalist party Jewish Home. Now, while Kahana was forced to leave the parliament in 1998, the movement by another name could be on its way back into power and given the keys by the Prime Minister himself. I'm joined now from Jerusalem by a member of Otsa Yehudit, Otsma Yehudit, Jewish Power, Baruch Marzel. Uh, Baruch, now we know that uh, you took over from your mentor Meir Kahana as the leader of the Kach Party after Kahana's assassination. You're now a candidate for the Israeli parliament, the Knesset. What do you want for the Otsma Yehudit party if it makes it into parliament? What would you want to see legislated? Well, I'm not a candidate, but I support Otsma Yudit. I'm active in Otsma Yudit. Uh, I think that there's a right to every party that uh, uh, goes uh, according to the law, that the Supreme Court already twice said that uh, there's no problem with the people of Otsma Yudit, and they're not uh, uh, the same thing that the Kach movement. So there's no problem for us to run. Uh, I would ask you how many times you asked uh, Arab parties that support the destruction of the state of Israel, why can, can they run? I, I don't think you ever asked uh, an Arab candidate, maybe, uh, why can he run? If uh, the continues of uh, Azri Bashara, a traitor, a uh, spy that helped the Hezbollah but, but terrorist sorry, organization. I'm just, just going to stop you because that's in, not what in, I... Uh, in Lebanon, they, they, they were allowed uh, to run. Why Baruch, can't I didn't you ask run? you why, can't, why you can't run. I'm saying if Otzma Yehudit does make it into parliament, what would you want to see legislated? What would you want to see written into Israeli law? Well, uh, I think that the problem isn't the laws. The problem is imposing the laws. It cannot be that uh, the terrorists from Gaza, the Hamas, fires 500 uh, bombs on the, the south of Israel and there's no response. I think that on every bomb that's uh, fired from there, we have to fire back 100 bombs. We have to be strong. We cannot be afraid of our enemy. We have to attack the enemy. In, in the past, you've said that your view is that the only way to have peace in Israel is to get the Arabs out of the country. Why has that been your view? Well, I never spoke about the Arabs. I speak about the enemy. Uh, I, uh, you actually used the words Arabs. You actually did the, use the, the words the, Arabs. Uh, well, uh, I think you should listen to the interview again. Uh, it's not only Arabs. I have, uh, there's a member that's running to the Knesset. His name is Ofer Ksif. And uh, I think that he has to be expelled of Israel also, even though he's a Jew, because he's fighting and wants to destruct the state of Israel. He's an enemy of, the, of Israel, even though he's a Jew. It's not a question of Arabs or Jews or Chinese or, or or Japanese. It's a question of enemies or not enemies. Anyone that isn't an enemy of the state of Israel, that doesn't want to fight, that doesn't support the battle against the state of Israel, I'm not for helping him leave the land of Israel. Someone that wants to destruct the state of Israel doesn't have to stay here and from the inside destroy the state of Israel. Now, I just want to read out a quote, something that you said during an interview in the short documentary, uh, The Radical Jew. You said, we don't hate Arabs because they're Arabs. We hate them, all Arabs then, because they're, the, they're our enemies. It's a religious war and they believe they have to destroy us to kill us. And we believe that people uh, uh, that think they have to kill us cannot stay here. 
So what are, what are you saying by that? I think I think I think you added a few words to the quote. You you said all Arabs. I never said it. Well, you're saying you them. We hate it, them because they're our enemies. Question. When I say I don't hate Arabs because they're Arabs, I hate my enemies, and most of my enemies are Arabs. So I hate the enemy that are Arabs, not all the Arabs. I don't hate all the Arabs. I helped the Arabs two weeks ago to run away from the PLO because they wanted to kill him. He's a good Arab. He doesn't want the destruction of Israel. There are good Arabs. I don't know how many, but there are good Arabs. There are bad Arabs. The enemy, we have to fight. How do you feel about Jewish Israelis who call themselves leftists? Uh, leftists? Yes. How do you I, feel I about how do you feel about Israelis who align themselves with the left and want to see equal rights for Palestinians in, and, and Arabs in Israel? Well, uh, I think that everyone has a right to his view and has a right to, to fight for his views. Uh, there's freedom of speech in Israel as long as you don't uh, do something to destruct the state of Israel. If you fight the army, if you fight the, the you uh, 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 do something against the security of the state of Israel, that's something else. But everyone could have his, his own views, and uh, I think this is that's uh, that's a democracy. Thank God there aren't too many leftists left around, and most of them are uh, most of them are get get paid by the European Union and who knows where, but all the rest. Uh, today, uh, uh, there's no left in Israel. You say that in Hebron, Arabs are afraid, not Jews. So what have you done and what do you advocate that's creating that fear? Well, we have to understand that in Hebron, there was only once a democratic uh, elections. And in these elections, seven out of seven members of parliament that were elected in a democratic elections uh, were Hamas members. Hamas says out loud that they want to kill us. They want to finish what Hitler didn't finish. Well, I, I'm not from the religion that gives the second cheek to anyone. And if someone comes to attack me, I'll uh, retaliate. And they understood that the Jews in Hebron are Jews that don't give the second cheek and retaliate and return to the ones that attack them. That's why they give us respect, and that's why we're not afraid of them. But you, now you brought up the Holocaust, and of course you've talked about a population transfer for, I'll call them the enemies, because that's the word uh, that you're saying. Of course you're saying most of these people are, are Arabs. So when you're talking about a population transfer, and you're talking about a stripping people of rights, which is almost a form of ethnic cleansing, I would say, how do you reflect on that, and how do you advocate for that as, as a Jew, uh, reflecting on the Jews that had to flee their homes just based on their religion and ethnicity back in World War II? Well, there's a great difference between the Jews in Germany and other places that were the most loyal citizens to their country. If Jews in Germany would have uh, tried to destroy Germany from the inside, I would think it would be uh, just to throw them out of Germany, not to leave anyone that wants to destroy Germany from the inside. But Jews were the most loyal citizens, and the only reason why Jews were massacred, killed, and sent to Auschwitz and Birkenau was because they're Jews. They didn't do anything bad against Germany. I'm talking about, a, about fighting our enemy, people that want to kill us, people that support killers, people that pay salaries to the killers of our, uh, of our nation. That's why that's a big difference. If you don't understand the difference, so uh, you have a problem. Of course, you've said uh, many inflammatory things against uh, Arabs and Palestinians, the ones that you call enemies. How is Palestinian incitement any different to what you've said? Well, I never started with anyone. I never walked on the street and took a knife and stabbed anyone. We don't uh, stab, uh, we don't uh, use an axe and a knife 
This is something that primitive people do. Yeah. But uh, uh, I just have to stop we, you because you've certainly, you certainly you might not have might, you might not have I'm stabbed anyone, uh, Baruch, but you've certainly been violent. In fact, you've served time in jail, and while you spent uh, after that, you said that uh, the jail is the best hotel in the world. It's a vacation going to jail. You learn Torah, mm. those Jewish holy texts. You play basketball. You let well, the time if, pass. If you and I also want to say, answer for the first well, question I just want to say answer. as well because you teach your kids you to be hear fighters. Answers? Or you want to ask questions? Uh, well, I want to follow up you with the question. Hear, if you want to listen to the question, you're, 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 you're so trying to say that you haven't stabbed question. anybody, but you teach let's your kids. Let's start with the first question, and afterwards I'll continue. If you want, if you want to ask ten questions, then give me time to answer. I'll answer all ten of them. But if you want only to ask, I'm, I'm ready. I'll listen to the Baruch, questions. Baruch, you and, teach your kids to be fighters, and, and, and you congratulate your kids for hitting arrows. I, I, I want, How I is want that to any, answer any the questions. So answer the it, question. Go for it. Well, uh, uh, well, if you'll let, give me a chance. If I'll have my freedom of speech, the same way you give to Arabs or to leftists, so uh, I'll answer the questions, all your questions. Uh, so. I, I want to tell you that I never attacked anyone that didn't start up with me. If someone will try to break my head, I'll break his head first. I never was sentenced to jail in my life. The only time I was in jail is in administered detention with no court, with no trial, with no any reason, only because uh, the Rabin leftist administration decided that I'm fighting the Oslo Accords and they wanted me out of the way. I was never sentenced to jail in Israel. Okay.